Hey guys, Clem from Honeybee Social, and today let's go over some top tips on how to get your small business on the top listing on Google Maps. Google Maps is really powerful for when people are ready to buy or they're ready to consider a business to align with to help them solve their problem in terms of a product or a service. Google Maps is critical for small local businesses, irrespective of whether you have a physical address or bricks and mortar shop, or if you just do a service area, you have the ability on Google My Business, which runs your listing on Google Maps, to not show a physical address, which is what I do with my listing on Google Maps and Google My Business. I don't show a physical address because I serve a particular area. So if you're not on Google Maps because you thought that you needed to show a physical location, that's no longer the case. You definitely need to hop on and register your business on there. So some top tips for um, optimizing your Google My Business or Google Maps profile. So number one, encourage customer reviews. Google is the place for customer reviews. It is the top spot for people to go and review a business, whether they loved it or they didn't like it or they want to put in a customer complaint. Where it's really critical is that the more positive reviews you get, the better, obviously. But that's because customers can search on Google Maps for businesses near them and then filter it by rating. So they can filter it by the highest rated business of four and a half stars and above. They can do all the way down to one star, but what's the point of doing that for one star? You always want the best of the best. So keep that in mind that customer reviews are incredibly important because now customers can search on Google Maps and filter by ratings. So that leads to tip number two, respond to customer reviews. Even if they're bad, you want to know if, the, if you've gone wrong or if you have a fake review on Google Maps as well. You want to call them out on it. When you are responding to a customer review, it shows that you are engaging with your customers and customers now also on Google Maps, they will take reviews with a grain of salt. So if that review doesn't look legit, they're probably not gonna worry about it. Granted, Google needs to hold people to account when it comes to fake reviews, so you can report reviews if they are spam. The more people that you get to, re to respond to that and, and report it as spam, the better. So get your friends and family involved if you have to. But I say always, always respond to the review, no matter whether it's a great one, it's a legitimate bad one, or if it's a fake one. Call them out if it's a fake one to show that you are defending your business and your brand, but then also respond to the compliments because you know that shows that you are in tune with your customer and that you adore having them there and reviewing your business. So tip number three, create posts. Posts are great on Google My Business because that also helps you with search results as well. So people can search and not filter by ratings. They can also just search for businesses in the area. The businesses that are more active on Google Maps and Google My Business will get a little bit of preferential treatment if you're posting consistently on Google My Business. That means just adding a little photo um, and a little blurb. It's the same thing as if you were doing it on Facebook and social and you can go and point it straight to your website. You can also put offerings and products on Google My Business as well, which is great because if someone is searching for your brand, it's not like, you know, they may not be able to click your website and they may not want to. They would just go to your Google Maps listing, have a look at what you have to offer and then decide whether to call you straight from that listing or message you straight from that listing. So you want to give them as much information as possible on your Google My Business profile. So tip number four, use video. As with any social media channel, and granted Google Maps and Google My Business is not considered a social media channel, but in a way it is because you are showing awareness of your brand and you are respond you're responding to customer reviews and you're getting your name out there with posts. Show video. Video is so much more engaging than just regular posts. You can only post 30 second videos at the moment on Google My Business pages, but hey, it's worth it. So if you're on TikTok, for example, get some of your TikTok videos that are handy about your business and post those onto your Google My Business review. Go ahead and write a little blurb and then point it straight to your website or get them to message you. It's a great little way of showing a little bit of interaction and personality in your business. 
And number five, show your offering. So like I said earlier, you can put up offers and products on your Google My Business page. And again, Google My Business goes and feeds into your Google Maps location. So people can click on there and see what you're offering. So if you have a special or a sale going on, go ahead and make a little offer post. It's really easy. It's just a separate tab on your Google My Business page. Show off your products as well because people will see that when they search for your brand and if they click it on the maps, they can see all the products that you offer on that page. It's really, really handy and it's a convenient way for them to see, I guess, a mini version of what your business is about. So go ahead and try that out on your Google My Business listing. So those are my quick five tips to optimize your Google My Business listing that'll lead to Google Maps and that'll help you get into those top listings. So remember, customer reviews are critical and responding to them and showing your personality and showing that you love them on, um, on their review. Putting up posts and putting up offerings and putting up video is only going to help your listing out and come out and shine against the rest of them. If you have any questions or you need any further information, feel free to contact me or put your question down in the comments below and I will be more than happy to start a conversation with you. Anyway, that's all I have. The, that's all the time I have for today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Have questions or need more information? Head to honeybeesocial.com.au.